What's up guys? Welcome back to Fish Over Chicks Woodworking. First off, I want to say thank you so much for a thousand subscribers. Me and John have been working really hard on this YouTube channel, so we really appreciate it. Um, again, my name is Peter. John is my editor. John, you can put a picture of yourself here because he's not here when I'm filming this. But yeah, we just want to thank you guys so much for a thousand subscribers. It means the world to us. Let's try to hit 10,000 now. But without further ado, let's get into today's video. <laughs> Today we're making a box. The easiest thing to do in woodworking, it's, the, it's just, it's such a basic thing, but everyone should know how to do it. Um, and I'm gonna show you the easiest way to do it and you don't need any special clamps or anything like that. All you need is your wood, obviously, uh, masking tape and glue, that's it. So first you need your wood and what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna want a thin piece of wood for the side. Uh, you're gonna need at least two of these to be the same size, obviously, because uh, you're gonna do a rectangle or box, you can make all four the same side. All four of these are the same size. Um, and basically all I did is I just cut them to six inches, which is how long I wanted them. And then on each of the ends, I mitered them at 45 degrees. Grab some masking tape uh, or duct tape, doesn't matter. I suggest using masking tape. Just make one fairly long piece, just like that, put that down. Grab one of your slats and leave a little bit of tape on the end and just try to line this up in the middle like that. Then you're gonna do that with the next one, touching the next one. Um, and you can probably figure out what we're going to do from here. Just do the rest of them. Making sure you line it up uh, as well as you can, just like that. So then obviously, here's your, uh, that's what your box is going to look like in the end. And we're just going to put a healthy amount of glue in each one of these slots. All right, so once you've got those uh, all glued, then you're just going to wrap it. This is super satisfying to do. Just line it up like that and fold the tape over. Now you've got the box there. Check those corners, wipe the glue off with your finger so you can make sure that those miter joints are looking good. And then we're just gonna let this sit for, I'd say about an hour just to be safe. So now you've let it dry for about an hour. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and make the bottom. You don't have to take the, uh, the tape off for the bottom. Um, you can just leave that on and let it dry a little bit more. You can either use uh, some leftover pieces that you have, that's what I'm gonna do, or you can go ahead and cut a whole new piece for it. Uh, it doesn't really matter what the size is, just make sure that it's a little bit bigger than this square is. So I've got these two small pieces left over from the cuts I made on these. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place those right there on the bottom, go ahead, and put some glue around it and then I'm just gonna place these on and put a weight on top of them so they dry. Obviously you see I've got this overhang here. Uh, that's not gonna be a problem because we're gonna go ahead with the router bit afterwards and we're gonna take all that extra off. I'm gonna grab something heavy like if you have a weight or a can of paint, I'm gonna use a can of paint. Just place it on there, just get some weight uh, placed down on there. I got my paint. So just go ahead and place it on there and then let that sit. And then we're gonna go ahead and cut that excess piece off with the router. So it's been about an hour, so take the paint off. Put that over there. I'm gonna grab your router and you're gonna to wanna to use a flush trim bit and we're just gonna go around all the outsides. And what that's gonna do is take off all the excess stuff that's overhanging. <laughs> Guys, the number one, number one tip I can give you for woodworking is don't buy the cheap shit. It's not worth it. <laughs> now that you've gotten those excess uh, pieces off the side, go ahead and rip that tape off. Now you are pretty much done. Of course, you're gonna have to go ahead and sand it, get those little imperfections that you might have gotten in there out, but uh, yeah, so that's it for building a box. That is the easiest way to build a box. Um, so there it is, uh, it's cheap, easy, does not take long. So yeah, that's how to make a box. That's the easiest way that I know how to do it and it came out looking really good and super uh, fun, easy project that anyone can do and it's not expensive. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe. Again, thank you so much for a thousand subscribers. Now let's hit 10,000. So if you have any videos you'd like us to make, um, just leave those in the comments below and we'll try to get to those. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.